Hello and welcome to Gadget Rescue. We're a handy technical support service that Virgin Media customers can pay for, and we're here to help you with all your computer and home technology problems. To speed things up, please tap in your full Virgin Media phone number now. OK, I'll just get your details. If you need help with any of your own gadgets or computers, please Just so you know, if you have our PC health check software, you can chat online to one of our technicians. Simply click on the Virgin Media icon on your desktop, or stay right there and I'll put you through to one of our team. Just so you know, sometimes we record these calls to make sure we give you the best service possible. Thank you for calling Virgin Media Gadget Rescue. This is Rafi. Can I have the phone number in the account, please? You can, 01543. And the name in the account will be? It's Paul Moore. Just give me a few more seconds. Thank you. Uh, do you mind if I put you on hold for a minute? I'm having some problem with my system. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Paul, so uh, what is the problem you're facing today? I've been talking to uh, one of your colleagues a few moments ago. Uh, I've had a letter from you regarding mm -hmm. a Poodle exploit somewhere on the network, and I couldn't quite get to grips okay. with what, what it is that you need to do to, uh, to resolve it. Can you talk me through it, please? Uh, you can obviously use our help, that is the Gadget Rescue's help, and what we will be doing is we will install a few softwares which will be able to stop that, for example, a proper virus guard, and there is also F-Secure app, and you, you are aware of what Poodle is, right? Sort of walk me through what it is you need to do to resolve it. Okay, the Poodle issue exactly is kind of an issue where uh, it can, uh, hackers or attackers can exploit your computer through your IP, through your internet. There is a remember internet security so they can exploit through your internet and they can downgrade your system even so that's how so for example we have F secure this F secure can help you stop that kind of attacks so we will be installing F secure in your system and also it comes with uh, our gadget rescue program comes with McAfee internet security and full security so with this in your system, it won't be a problem anymore. So, so you install F-Secure and McAfee? And if already there is some files, harmful file in your system, which might be there because it has been detected, so we also need to go through a cleanup first, cleanup right. in your system. Okay, so, so when you say then you install McAfee install and, and F-Secure, do you install those at the same time? Yes, we usually do that. Actually, I'll tell you, when we clean, uh, check up your system and clean up, we will know which software will be uh, useful enough. For example, even McAfee itself can be useful enough to stop that. So you might not need F Secure. Right. So does that actually Are it necessary? Does actually, that... the actually the backend technician will be in control of that. When the backend technician, the professional technician who will be working on your system, when the uh, are done with the checkup, they will know what exactly to do in your case. Right. So, so will either F Secure or McAfee actually fix Poodle? Yes, it can. Obviously, it's right. blocking the thing. Yeah, what is it? is it? Is it blocking? What actually is the Poodle exploit? It, you said it, was, it, it can downgrade a system. Uh, it's more like. Uh, hackers accessing your computer through your IP. Okay. As simple as it can get. Right. So, so how, does, how does how does an they, antivirus they take, protect they against take that? They take control because we, you will have an internet security through which it's not only an antivirus; it's an internet security thing. So, uh, usually, what they do is they take control through your router, 
that is through a public hotspot or anything, they took they, they, they take control of your computer. So with your proper internet security on, no one can do that actually. Whenever someone will able to try to do that, they will get blocked from that. And you will also get to know that someone is trying to attack. Right. So, so how were Virgin Media able to, to identify that we have uh, an item on the network that is susceptible to Poodle? Because we can detect what's going on in the IP the Virgin Media IP. So if something malicious is going through the IP, we get to know that there is something going wrong. So we let the customers know that something is going wrong. For example, even if your email address, Virgin Media email, is sending spam mails to some other account, we will get to know and we will notify you that you are sending spam mails. That is, you have severe virus issues in your system. Right. So since it's the IP, through the IP, we can detect it. So that something is going wrong. If I were to give one of your technicians access to the server here, are they able to mm -hmm. to patch Poodle for me? Yes, obviously, but I'll tell you how it works. It's not like the technician, our technician, how we work is we take control of your computer remotely if you permit us. Mm -hmm. Then we take control of your computer and we do the things. We fix it for you. Okay, how do I go about giving you access to the server then for you to do this? Okay, for that, first of all, I would like to let you know that Virgin Media Gadget Rescue Service is a paid service. It's a premium technical support service from Virgin Media. And uh, there are monthly subscription options and also one-time fix option. The monthly subscription option is £5 a month with £20 setup fee. Okay, before we go ahead what and do that... What it includes is three PC support. Mm -hmm. Is there anything available yes, on the Virgin Media website to explain this Poodle issue in, in greater detail? Mm, I guess you might need to search the web for that. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think it, you will find it in Virgin Media website because this is a normal computer issue. So you, uh, if you want to know more about it, I would suggest you, you go to the website any Google or anywhere you can Google it from there. I suspect that the, the device that you're saying is vulnerable to Poodle isn't a home PC. It's a server. Yeah, Are you able to it, connect it's through, to that? It's through, it's, through, it's through router. So when we are connected to your computer, we do have access to that. So it's mainly we are protecting your computer from things getting affected. In, infected? So viruses then? Yes, obviously. It's like through the Poodle issue, someone can take control of your computer. Right. Okay. I think we'll uh, we'll leave it there for today. It's Thanks so much for your help. connection and all. No problem. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hello, and welcome to Gadget Rescue. We're a handy technical support service that Virgin Media customers can pay for, and we're here to help you with all your computer and home technology problems. To speed things up, please tap in your full Virgin Media phone number now. Or to enter your account number, just press hash. If you need help with any of your own gadgets or computers, please press 1. For help with your Virgin Media products or services, just so you know, if you have RPC Health Check software, you can chat online to one of our technicians. Simply click on the Virgin Media icon on your desktop, or stay right there and I'll put you through to one of our team. Just so you know, sometimes we record these calls to make sure we give you the best service possible. Hello? Hello? Hello, thank you for calling Virgin Media Gadget Rescue. This is Vishal. How may I help you today? Um, I was talking to one of your colleagues a few minutes ago. We uh, Unfortunately, we were disconnected. Um, I've had a letter from you to say that a device within the network is vulnerable to, uh, to Poodle and that I might need to call this number to have it fixed. Is that something you can resolve for me? To Poodle? Yes. One of your devices is... Okay, could you spell that for me? I just want to make sure. Yes, P O O D L E. Okay. Uh, do you know which device? Uh, no, it doesn't say, unfortunately. 
Are you sure that was from Virgin Media? Yes. Okay, did you get it as a mail as in like on your email or did you get it as a... No, it's come in the post. It's come in the post, okay. Mm. That's, that's odd. I don't know why they would send that in the post instead of calling you. <laughs> okay, so um, how many devices do you have? Uh, there's seven on the network at the moment. You have seven? Yes. Uh, seven, like as in peripherals or I'm talking about PCs? Uh, yes, there's four PCs, a um, couple of tablets, phones that connect intermittently. Um, but as I say, your, your colleague that I was talking to a few moments ago, uh, he, he recognised what it was, but he said he needed to clean up some files to get rid of the poodles, apparently. Okay. Um, do you know what, the, what my colleague's name was? I, I don't, unfortunately. Can you see on my, uh, on my records there that I called earlier? Okay, yeah, I'm going to pull up your records, you know what? Okay, so uh, your uh, I'm gonna have. Do you know your Virgin Media customer ID? Uh, customer ID? Uh, the customer ID. I don't. I can give you the telephone number if that's easier. Yeah, that should be fine. Three. So where in the UK are you from, sir? Uh, Burntwood, Staffordshire. Okay. Okay, Mr. Par Paul R. Moore. That's right. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so do you have a... Okay. Um, so I see that you do not have a product at the moment. Have a, a product? Okay. Yeah. Our our product is basically uh we're 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 a paid technical service, so we're. I'll tell you a little bit about of ourselves about ourselves first. Uh, well, so just, just, just we're just, an around the clock. Be, before you do, you, your colleague's already gone through that with me in some okay. in some detail. Um, but I was asking him what is what is it you actually do to resolve this poodle exploit? He said that you could either install McAfee or F Secure, and that you needed to clean up temporary files on the system. Is that what you do? Okay, so what I would do is. So since I don't know what PC it is, I'm going to remotely connect to the one PC first, yep. clean that PC up, install security software into it, then I'm going to tell you in the chat. So basically I'm going to connect you, I'm going to take you through steps on the phone and tell you exactly how to connect the first PC, okay? Yep. Okay, I'm going to show you. After, then I'm going to work on the PC. After I'm done working on that PC, I'm going to send you a message in the chat saying I'm going to connect to your next PC. So you're going to go through the same steps that I'm going to give you through the chat. You connect the next PC, I go on there and I clean it up because I have no idea which one it is. Okay. And then I'm going to clean it up with security. I'm going to do this for four PCs. Okay, and then so we're going to you, have like monitoring. Your colleague, so if sorry, you ever, yes? Your, your uh, colleague said he was uh, going to clean well, up the PC and delete temporary files. But I'm, I'm a bit perplexed mm -hmm. as to how that's going to fix this poodle exploit. Okay, so basically these temporary files are cache files. They're not necessarily temporary files. The, what you do is when you, do, when you open the internet, you have history, you have uh, cookies that when you open, like some websites have like malware or such that could latch on. So by doing a thorough cleaning, we're not just going to do temporary, so we're going to seize through all your files to find out all the nasty bits, what's connected, and delete all that. Clean up your computer, make sure there's nothing, it's zip clean, and then install security software. Right. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. What I'm asking is you don't seem to be familiar with what the Poodle exploit is. Uh, what is it that you actually do to patch it, to resolve it? Because your colleague said we'll install McAfee antivirus or F-Secure antivirus, neither of which will actually fix yeah. Poodle. Okay. So basically what the Poodle is, I'm going to explain to you, the Poodle attacks the main, it's an expo which takes advantage of internet and internet security software clients. Okay, so they exploit the vulnerability on average. They only so okay, so they latch onto. So what I'm going to do is in, uninstall your current your current uh, antivirus. Clean up any possible way for a poodle to return, which is probably latched on temporary files, etc., etc., etc. Then I'm going to re. Then I'm going to after I'm done cleaning up, then I'm going to reinstall a new security software. Right, but I'm gonna have to do this for I'm gonna have to do this four times because I have no idea which PC it is. 
Okay, C can I ask a favour? Can I um, can I speak to a supervisor if there's one available, please? Uh, we generally don't uh, connect customers to supervisor unless it's a really uh, urgent urgent um, thing. And at the moment, what is the need to speak to a supervisor? Well, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. You don't seem particularly familiar with what the exploit is. Poodle has got nothing to do with temporary files on the system. You know, cleaning it up will have no effect mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, the so, Poodle is it's latched on the internet and security software. When you say la latched on, I don't. I, and, you're not explaining it particularly well. Okay, imagine, imagine you have okay, uh, okay, you have you have a you have a child okay, who has lice okay, it's in it's in, it's in the child's hair and then it goes to school. Okay, the lice is gonna spread to all the other children, which is basically you got a poodle on your security software. That's how that's where poodles mainly attack from. So they latch onto your security software after that they spread to multiple files. So it's a, it's that's a virus how you need then. To delete your temporary files. Is it a virus? You're saying? Not necessarily. Or malware, okay. if you like. It, it, it virus. Slows things down as the poodle just uh, poodle just takes down your software, takes down your security software, and makes sure it doesn't come back up. It makes you vulnerable to viruses. Right. The poodle doesn't actually necessarily hurt your computer. It just makes your computer vulnerable to get hurt. So. Is there someone you can clarify this this issue with? Well, I'm a senior tech, so. Okay. I I want to know what do you, what would you like me to clear up? So you're you're actually a senior tech for Virgin Media, or are you a separate company? We work for Virgin Media. So you are actually employed by Virgin Media. Yes, and other companies. Right. Okay. Okay. I think that's all I need to uh, I need to know for now. But thanks ever so much for your help.